And now, Gary Finch Outdoors, brought to you by Dixie RV Superstores. Hi, folks. It's hot, but this heat can make for perfect conditions for catching one of my inshore favorites, the triple tail. The triple tail is not only a ball to catch, but one of the best tasting fish in the water. My friend, Chef Chris Sherrill, has a great recipe using fresh ingredients from right here along the Gulf Coast. Tell me a little bit about what you've come up with uh, for us to show the folks at home. We're going to blacken some triple tail and we're going to make a soybean and crab succotash. Right. The key to blackening is extremely high heat. Of course, we're in a commercial kitchen, but doing this at home, I would advise someone to do it outdoors. You want to generously coat your fish fillets with the seasoning. The flames are okay. That's wow. how you know it's good and hot. Now, while we're doing that, we can start our other skillet. And we're going to make the succotash. It's a one skillet dish, very simple. We've got some nice roasted corn locally here from Robertsdale, soybeans from Alabama, fresh uh, ground garlic, green onions, red bell peppers, purple onions, crab meat from right here on Alabama's Gulf Coast, right. a little bit of seasoned salt pepper, a little bit of garnish. We're going to add a little bit of white wine and then our, on our pre-done Chardonnay sauce to give us a creamy finish. I took the liberty to pre-grill some summer squash and zucchini. It's, it makes for a pretty unique uh, base of our uh, plate here. So we got our base, now we're going to add first our... Our crab and soybean succotash and our pretty blackened triple oh, tail. Oh, wow. How about that? Keep it simple, nothing to it. And voila. As a reminder, tomorrow is the last day of the summer to catch red snapper for private recreational anglers. Try this recipe and have a happy, healthy, and safe 4th of July weekend. I'm Gary Finch for WKRG News 5. Now my mouth is watering. I am hungry. You can catch more of Gary Finch Outdoors Sunday mornings at 5 on WKRG and 9.30 over on the Gulf Coast CW.